Hi guys, welcome to Foresta Studio. Today, I'm gonna do this sack work. Welcome back. If you do want to practice along with the video tutorial, all the exercise files are available at my Patreon page. Thank you. Okay, so for the step number one, we're gonna build up the terrain. Here I have the terrain. If you have downloaded the exercise file from my Patreon page, you're gonna find this sketchup file which contain the terrain and this tiny trees is a Chaos Cosmos model because we're gonna use the scatter function in VRA for this lesson. Otherwise, if you are using the VR scene, which means export it from 3D Mask. Sorry, we have to use another third party plugin called Scatter. Uh, this one. Because the Scatter in very they don't support. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. I hope they can fit this mistake later. Anyway, I will show you uh, how to build up this terrain from scratch. Let me open another SketchUp. Okay, so I have here another blank SketchUp file. I'm gonna use the same box to draw a grid. The dimension of the grid can be determined right here, which is 5 meter per 1 is okay. This size can be 50 meter. And this size can be 50 meter as well. Okay, so we have the grid. Now we're gonna use artesian, artesian for sculpting the terrain. So we can uh, determine the radius from here, and uh, the strength can be determined by hitting, holding. Sorry, holding the up arrow the up arrow and move your mouth just simply move your mouth up and down up, up and down okay and holding ship holding ship to make sure every vertices go up perpendicular to the route i'm sorry i'm selecting this one which is not correct so deselect and again here we go because I would like to have two hill two hill and one valley between them remember to holding the ship while you hold the ship every vertices go up go up constrained to the Z direction so if you look from the top let me turn up the um, perspective here as you can see every light goes straight yeah every light goes straight anyway we nearly have the thing that we want I think this uh, quite high I would like to move this area go down a bit okay. and again so hold the up arrow and move your mouse down and holding ship hmm? oh, simple right okay very good and because we have a very long terrain to support us in aerial perspective so I select everything and mirror selection no again a mirror selection yes okay pretty well now we will make everything smoother by another plugin called sub D sub D where is my sub D let me see here sub D 
extra you can increase the strength uh-huh okay everything looking five so we have the here and valley then we're gonna apply the texture inside the SSI file you will find the texture for the soil right here the truck and drop explode then pick and paste to our terrain so it's really this pan on the camera angle now it looks way too massive so we may load down to 10,000 maybe not enough 5,000 around this number okay that's good yeah looking good okay for step number two we're gonna scatter this tiny tree to this terrain I'm gonna use the original sketchup file because we need some uh, modification inside it for faster to save your time uh, anyways just simply select this roof and hit the scatter button Pop. immediately something happened to scatter this one to this group I'm gonna switch to this tab select this tree select scatter and add gas tada finish so run the test to see how very fast right very good but the dance looks too much so i need to control the density by lowering down this number to 0 0.2 by doing this we can see some soil right here or maybe 0 0.3 looking good looking good And remember that in this SSI file, I already add the Fimitone map and exposure if we turn it out. It looks terrible like this one. Okay. For step number three, I'm gonna use very interesting effect on Sphere SketchUp, which is called Aerial Perspective to give the atmosphere perspective to this image so in the setting tab goes to volumetric environment and activate immediately we got the aerial perspective so we can control visibility range I'm going down to 500 I think it's too much first it's too much second for this case, I rather prefer we have no sun. We have no sun, so just simply turn it off. Perhaps we can increase the density a bit more. okay looking good so we can jump to final render for the final render I'm gonna switch the render output to 2k resolution which is 2560 And remember, before run the funnel, just activate the noise. Uh, that's it. We can jump to high and hit the final render. Okay, for the last step, I'm going to show you how to bring up your rendering to the next level by using Lightroom. We're going to turn from this to this. So I have here the image was open in Lightroom. So first, I would like to have the highlights goes down. 
then the shadow goes up the white can a bit not too much because this was already have a lot of fox in white the black for sure goes down because we look like to have a very dark moody tone then the clarity can be a bit more improved for the curve I'm gonna pick three point and this because I would like to have a very soft shadow area so we're gonna do it like this one yeah very soft very soft and then to have the I would like to low down the ring let's saturate it and I have down below to control the split toning I would like to have a very blue um, environment for the whole image so this should be 200 and this as well for 200 then for separation of each highlight and shadow I just slightly increase immediately you can see the highlight turn to bluer and the shadow turn to bluer as well but I rather prefer the highlights go down a bit and the shadow a bit more very good you see then down below we have the vignette just a bit but the orange area right here quite obviously so I would like to have it let saturate for sure the ring too strong yeah very good anything else I just add a bit more ran that's it easy right perhaps we can go up the haze a bit more to make it even stronger the dark moody tone so that's it finished for this tutorial i hope it will be useful for your job if you want to practice along the the ssi file in my patreon which is at the description below thank you for watching and see you in the next time bye bye